This is our painting studio. Our painting studio is located right next to the sink because we have to use water with these paints. Remember, when you're choosing to paint, you always want to follow the painting setup menu that's located right above our paints. You might want an apron. You'll need a water cup that's half full. We do not fill our water all the way up to the top. Choose which kind of paint you'd like. Choose a palette if you'd like to mix colors. You will need a paper towel, at least one or two paint brushes, and don't forget to put your name on your paper before you start painting. The paints we have are tempera cakes in this box and watercolors in this box. When you paint, they both require water. Watercolors use a lot of water and should be transparent. Tempera cakes also require water, but they make an opaque color. And I'll show you that right up here. When you're painting with watercolors, the colors should not be really, really bright, dark colors. They should be light, sort of transparent, letting the paper show through a little. The tempera cakes make bright, solid colors, okay? Lots of different techniques that you can try with both of those. When you're carrying paints to your table, you always want to carry them flat, right side up. We don't ever want to carry them sideways or upside down because if there's wet paint inside of that container, it can dribble out down your paint clothes, on your hands, and on our art room floor. So we want to, and they also can mix the colors inside of them. So we always want to carry them carefully, carry them flat, just like this. When you're getting water, you should only be carrying water. You should not be carrying other supplies in your hands. We turn the water on just a little, fill that cup up halfway. It should not be full to the top. It should not have just a little water, but it should be half full and you carry it carefully and you should use two hands to carry that back to your table, okay? We're not carrying the cup and brushes and paint and palette all at the same time. You carry just the water by itself. We don't take an entire container of brushes and you only should take one of each size. And if you're not planning on using a size, if you don't think you're gonna use the tiny brush, you don't have to get one, uh, but you definitely don't need more than one of each size of brush. So think about what you're painting. If you're painting something that's taking up a big area on your paper, you might want a big brush. If you're painting little tiny details, you will want a small brush. Here are our palettes. And right over here, we have some paper towels in this tote. So if the, we have our paper towel dispenser on the wall, but if that is empty, we usually have some extras right here. And you can take those to your table. The reason we use our paper towel is to help clean our brushes. So let me show you that really quickly. If I am painting with the tempera paint and I have been painting, let's pretend I've been painting with the blue and I have blue paint on my paintbrush. Before I, let's, I'm just pretending that I'm ready to change and now I wanna paint with red. I don't wanna dip my brush right in my red because then that blue that's on my paintbrush will mix in my red paint. So I need to clean this brush first, but before I clean it in the water, I'm going to paint the extra blue paint onto my paper towel. So I'm cleaning that brush a little bit before I wash it in the water. So I got most of the blue paint off on my paper towel. So now I take it to the water cup I gently brush the brush on the bottom of the water cup. See how I'm not, I'm not swishing and swirling it in the water because that splatters the water. I'm gently brushing the brush on the bottom of the cup to clean all the paint out of the brush. I'm not smashing it in the bottom because I want to keep that nice point on my brush, just painting the bottom. And then I want to keep water on my brush, so I'm not going to dry it on the paper towel. I want it to be wet so that it can turn this dry paint into wet, good wet paint that I can paint with. So I want to keep my brush wet. If it's way too drippy and I'm afraid it's going to drip on my paper, I can just wipe that on the edge of my cup one time so it doesn't drip. But we don't tap it on our cup and you don't want to wipe all the water off. You want your brush to be wet. When we clean up, Always make sure those brushes are pointing up to the sky. The bristles should go up in the cup. 
So you take your paintbrush, hold it up here, and push the handle down into the cup so the pointed so the brush can dry in the cup. We don't need to dry them off. We pour our water into the sink, stack your cup back with the others, return your paints to the same kind of paints, take your paper towel, dry your wet table, and throw that paper towel away. You may only wash your hands in the sink if everyone else is finished using it for cleaning up their supplies and only if we have enough time during art class. So make sure that we are we can that we're not using the sink for washing hands unless there's no one else that needs to use the sink for cleanup. Because our hands, we can always wash our hands back in our classroom. Now don't forget our aprons are right over here along the wall. And when you get an apron, make sure you're putting it away so that it goes inside the box. It's easiest to do it if it's folded up, okay? So we don't just toss it at the box. There shouldn't ever be aprons laying around in the floor around the box. They should all go inside the apron box. Okay, so that's our painting studio. And this is exactly what it should look like at the end of cleanup time. All the paint brushes, their bristles are sticking up in the air. The palettes are all in their basket. The cups are stacked neatly in their basket. And we notice all the watercolors are nice and neat, right side up in the box. And the paints are separated into the different kinds in their own stacks too. So that is our painting studio.